Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott at ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we are reviewing the newly released Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles times Universal Monsters Splinter as Van Helsing figure from NECA Toys. This is part of their Ultimate line. Special shout out and thank you to site sponsor Entertainment Earth for sending along for review. We greatly appreciate that. 10% off coupon codes right on ToyHypeUSA.com. Just see the YouTube description below for the link there. Or if you're on the site, just scroll down. The sides of the box have images of additional figures on this line. This includes Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo. We also know that Donatello is coming. And of course, April O'Neil has already been released. Here's a look at the other side. And on the back, you have some great poses of Splinter as Van Helsing. Really stellar. A lot of detail there. We're going to be taking a closer look at. And of course, this is a window box with an opening flap. So here's a look at that. On the left here, you have another image of Splinter. And on the right, you have him inside the blister card there, which we're going to be taking a closer look at. Here's a better look at the plastic tray. Inside is, of course, Splinter. He comes with an interchangeable head there, a crossbow, a stand, sets of interchangeable hands, a variety of arrows, some stakes, and a knife. Here's your in-hand look at Splinter as Van Helsing. It's basically the rat sculpt with sculpted fur on there, along with the Van Helsing clothing, such as the jacket, which you see here, this undergarment, which hangs down. Let's bring that a little bit closer. Right here, this is actually Splinter's garment and it's given sculpted texture there. The jacket, I really love how this came out. It's sculpted to look like leather. However, it is just a soft plastic on the chest here, hard plastic on the arms. So that came out stellar. As you can see there, let's take a look at the back. Just look at all that really nice sculpted texture in there. That came out great. The head sculpt, it has the hat and glasses on there. On this particular head sculpt, the hat cannot be removed. And I don't, well, the glasses are not supposed to be removed either. This is given the sculpted fur, which you see here, goatee, right on his chin there. And really nicely done sculpted eyes, as you see on both sides. Let's just take a look at the back. On the back, he has that accessory piece right there on the hat. Actually looks like a uh, throwing star, in my opinion. And of course, you have the feet, which you see here, the rat feet and the tail. The tail, you can move around a little bit. It's bendy with a wire. You can see the wire through there. Very nicely done. The legs, sculpted fur. And let's just take a look down here. You see the hips, the rat hips there. However, most of the sculpt is hidden underneath this jacket, which is fine. This piece is also a little bit loose as you can see me struggling with it. This is easily corrected by just sliding that right back in there. And that's the only thing about this harness that can hold it up. There's nothing else to secure it on the torso there. So that is unfortunate. As far as the paint applications go, as I'm talking, you see it's really fantastic how this came out. All those different colors, the dark brown, the purple, the metallic gold belt buckle there. You have some additional buckles right there. Let's just take a look at all sides of them. And again, he has sculpted fur on the legs, but really want to take a good look at the hands here. The hands are gloved and he has fingernails. So that's a very nice detail as well. The harness is also capable of holding the accessories such as the knife and the stakes right here on the front. These just slide right in. And once the stakes are in, they really don't fall out too easily. So that's nicely secured in there. These arrows are just placed inside here. These will fall out easily, so just be aware of that. And now for his articulation. 
you have a bull jointed head, full range of motion here, swivel hinge shoulders, double hinged elbows, you see those hinge joints right there, swivel hinge wrists. I don't believe there's any articulation in the torso, I'm trying to feel around for that. He has bull jointed hips, swivel hinge knees, where you see the hinge joints right back there, hinged ankles and hinged toes. And he also, no, no swivel ankle, so it's just double hinged. You see those hinge joints there. And the tail has the bendy feature where, again, you see the wire right there. Here's a look at all of Splinter's accessories. Included are five arrows, three stakes, one knife, one alternate head sculpt, a crossbow, he comes with a stand, four interchangeable hands, which you see there. And just want to show you guys a closer look. You see one of the arrows has garlic on there. The other one has a sharp head. The rest are just wooden arrows. The stakes, bring that in closer for you. See the very nice sculpted details on there. And here is a closer look at the crossbow as well, which we're going to be taking a closer look at once I put it in his hand. Here's your closer look at the crossbow. It's painted to look like wood as well as iron, and they really did a fantastic job sculpting it. It can hold an arrow right there on top. However, the arrow is very loose. It will fall off rather easily. It does have little thing right there where it almost looks like an arrow can just snap into that. However, I've been unsuccessful to snap an arrow into that little piece as the arrow bends. Let me just try and show you guys. So here's the arrow on there and you see I'm trying to snap it in place, but the arrow bends upwards a little bit. So that's why I haven't been able to snap it in. However, sculpting wise, it is really nicely done. Has a trigger finger right there where my finger is pointing and it has a second handle so you can hold it with both hands. Here's a look at Splinter holding the crossbow in both hands. He does have a very good grip on it. It won't fall out too easily. However, again, if you put the arrow on top as shown, it will fall off as that's very loose fitting. Here's a look at the different arrow. This one's with the garlic that's attached. Here's a look with the sharp end. This end piece right here has a metal tip as opposed to wood and the garlic. There's a look at it from the back. Here's a closer look at the knife. It's painted with a black handle and a metallic silver blade there. Here's a closer look at the wooden stakes. These fit best with the open grip hand here with the finger pointed forward. These are painted in a dark brown and some light gray to indicate wood, as well as the sharp point. And speaking of sharp point, these are actually sharp. So that's a nice surprise. Definitely not recommended for kids. I'm touching it, it's pretty sharp. I was very surprised when I felt that. And I also wanna point out that you can place two in a hand. One won't fit as it'll fall out. So you're really gonna to need to put two in there. Here's a look at the alternative head sculpt. This one comes without the hat. The glasses remain on the second one as well. And it's a, still a great head sculpt. All the same details, textures, sculpted furs on there, as well as paint applications. Glasses are not removable. I also went ahead and swapped out his hands. So he comes with two of each hands. And here's a look at that. I put the crossbow in this one just to show you guys. Here's a comparison of Splinter along with April O'Neil and Leonardo. Here's a comparison along with movie and cartoon Splinter. Here's another comparison, this time with Leonardo holding his sides there. 
Overall, Splinter is Van Helsing, fantastic figure. I'm personally loving this line. I think it's the best of both franchises, and my recommendation would be to pick them up. Thank you again to site sponsor Entertainment Earth for sending along for review. Greatly appreciate that. Link below on the YouTube description and on toyhappusa.com for links to buy. I am Anthony Scott. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more coverage and reviews.